Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ian Buck, and I'm here with Renewable Food Revolution, and I'm here to present a solution to you to one of today's most pressing problems. First, I'd like to present an issue with you. So how many of you today go to university and you bring a piece of fruit or fruit with you? So like apple or a banana. And you go, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, I'll eat that. And you go to the bin and you go, okay, hang on. Which, which bin do I put in? It's not recyclable. It's not really waste. Shouldn't there be like a biodegradable bin? Yes, there is. And that is our solution. I'm going to present that in a way to show you how it's in the most sustainable solution at all. First things first, what is our problem? Okay, come on. <laughs> okay. so our, our problem, okay. Currently the University of Melbourne generates enough food waste per year to feed the university and its students up to two weeks, which is like three meals per day. In terms of landfill cost levies, this is approximately $130,000 in university pays per year. In terms of environmental impacts, it's counting resource input in terms of energy intensity, food waste and energy consumption, the emissions produced in terms of CO2 and the leachates produced from the landfill, which also goes into the ecosystem damage. Okay, our solution. We currently have a three-tier solution. Short, medium, and long-term. In terms of our short-term solution, we're going to create a social marketing campaign, a behavioral analyst campaign, in terms of creating awareness around this university and how students can become more bio-friendly um, bio regarding organic waste bins. As you can see here, instead of having the normal two-tier bin, we have a three-tier bin, which includes where you put your fruit, you put your sandwiches, and any leftover organic waste that you've produced and eaten. Moving more. We're going to be able to use this for existing infrastructure. Currently at the University House, in house, we have a decomposer, which takes a lot of our organic waste recently. And currently it's about half the capacity. So the organic waste from these bins have got to go into the decomposer, which produces the manure, manure which goes to farmers currently, which we then use to produce green rooftops, which we then help with the biodiversity team for birds and bees and more natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the real crux of our plan. We're looking at cafe empowerment and collaboration. Here we have created a sustainability campaign with cafe, cafes on campus, giving them the power to make decisions and create more sustainable solutions in regard to their, their cafes, whereby if they're not able to do so competitively, their tender will be up for proposal. In regards to campus partnerships, and we're going to create a committee whereby we have a training program which enables you know, the cafes and how they are more influent and more sustainable um, practices. Long term, as we become more successful in this endeavor, we're going to invest in a biodigester which is an investment which takes all of the food waste and produces methane gas, which will then be turned into electricity, whereby the university can help subsidise the current costs. Uh, this also produces a fertiliser which can help go into the green rooftops and uh, farming. Okay, our potential. This aspect is replicable and expandable, primarily because once the university is a pilot program, we will be able to expand to other universities and local councils around Australia. In doing so, we can act as a consultancy service, which is our main avenue for revenue generation. In terms of our environmental impacts, we're going to be able to save on CO2, food waste, water consumption, and energy expenditure. Now, we're an innovative and passionate team with a diverse background of business, environmental, and engineering skills. And then to close, I'd like to say Australia and Melbourne University has become the first zero food waste university. We have the puzzle pieces, and we're going to turn Australia's organic waste into organic resource. Thank you.